Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a first impressions, first sniff video for you. This is a fragrance from the house of Maison Lancome, a part of their Grand Cru collection, so their super expensive private collection line. Uh, this is a new one called, and I'm going to butcher this, Fig and a Grooms. A groom? A groomé? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but translating it to English, it means figs and citrus. So let's uh, get this on a paper here. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this on my skin. I should do that uh, for this first impressions. Um, all right. So I haven't read it any. I read any reviews or checked the notes or anything. So this really is a uh, first sniff. Okay, so as expected, I definitely smell fig right away. Mmm, it's like a creamy, milky fig. Really, really nice. What is this white stuff? <laughs> A little bit sharp there's something like sharp about it like a, a sharp creamy fig smell and the citrus I do smell citrus and it smells like lime to me like not just like the lime juice but also like the lime skin and the rind and the white part so now I'm picturing in my head you have just like cut open some fresh figs and like sprinkle some of the juice on top of it and then rub the skin on it too. Mm, and there's also something green in here. Not grass but hmm, like a green almost vegetal smell. Like celery or something. <laughs> So yeah, it's a very fresh, bright, realistic smelling, figgy, a creamy figgy lime and the whole lime um, mixed in with it. Yeah, it smells nice. Um, I'm getting that sharpness too. Maybe it's from the citrus. You know how citrus can smell uh, like tangy? and sharp. Um, I'm getting that in here as well. And it does, I think it does help to brighten it up even more because figs can be quite dense um, in itself. But yeah, this smells pleasant. Very, very pleasant smelling. So I will let that dry down a little bit more and let's get into the notes here. Let's see what it says. Okay, so here is what the bottle looks like. Um, very similar to uh, the other ones. And the d design here, I don't know if you can see it, but the design here is like uh, half to figs, figs cut in half in a green background or green, I don't, it, maybe it's a green juice. So the accords are fruity, citrus, woody, white floral, and sweet. And the notes, there's only three listed here. Uh, figs, obviously. Citruses, obviously. And jasmine, okay. Hmm. It's smelling, it's smelling, it's smelling even more um, bright now, like fresher. And I'm being reminded of those, you know those plants that go around like that? Is it called ferns, I think? <laughs> when I smell this, I'm thinking of that now. So yeah, this is a pleasant smelling fig citrus. I'm not getting anything else other than that. Oh, now it's starting to smell a little bit um, soapy, a little bit like a clean soapiness. So, 
obviously I have I'll have to test this more to see how it dries down on my skin and how it performs but my first impressions are that it's very it's a very pleasant smelling scent it's also a very expensive scent and there are other ones out there that I would recommend that you try out if you're looking for a good fig scent and I think the best one out there from what I've tried it's one of my most earliest niche perfume purchases many many years ago and I absolutely loved it and I wore it all the time to the point that I got sick of it and then I stopped wearing it but actually recently I've been kind of craving for this scent again to own it and it's from the house of Diptyque very very popular scent probably their most popular and it's Philosikos a creamy, milky, realistic fig, fig leaf scent. It's beautiful. Another one that I really, really, really like for fig scent is from the House of Profumum Roma, and it's called Ichnusa, I-C-H-N-U-S-A. Um, no idea what that means. <laughs> it's probably Italian for something, maybe it means figs, but that is probably the best one. It is, it's like, more than double the price of the Philosikos. But if you do have a chance to try both of those, I think those two um, are the best that I've tried. And if you're looking for something a little bit more quirky, uh, as for fig scent, uh, try Womanity by Terry Mugler if you haven't already. But yeah, it's starting to get really, really soapy and more floral on my scent, which is kind of a shame because I wanted that fig part to stay. So anyways, <laughs> those were my quick thoughts, my first impressions, first sniff on a fig and a groom or a groom <laughs> uh, by Maison Lancome. If you've tried this scent, please let me know in the comments what you think of it. Also let me know what your favorite fig fig fragrances are. I'd love to hear your suggestions. Oh, another one I like is the um, the one by Hermes, Jardin and Mediterranean. That one's a really nice one too. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.